here with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am recreating a soap that I did in the beginning of 2020, and that was my banana bread design soap. <laughs> and so, again, I like to redesign soaps, but I do like to switch things up a little bit and improve them and just kind of make it fun to watch again but still keep some of the main elements from the original, like adding banana. I have pureed some banana with a little bit of water and some goat milk powder, and I'm going to add that into my batter first, or well, into my oils first, and then I'm gonna give it a little buzz. And then I'm going to whisk in my lye solution because I am working in layers. So let's give this a whirl. I've got my banana and goat milk all incorporated in that and I'm going to add my lye solution and whisk it because again I'm working in layers and I really want this to stay fluid so I don't want to get it to trace and then have it sit while I'm waiting in between layers for um, each one of them to set up. So hopefully this works. Plus when you add things like banana or goat milk or a fragrance that slightly accelerates, you wanna try and just do as many things as you can to possibly slow down trace and acceleration and typically work with a simple design. And I mean, layers are layers are pretty simple, but I mean, it's not like it's gonna be all one color and just plop into the mold. So I'm trying to get a little creative with this, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't remember making this soap <laughs> last year at all. Um, it popped up on an Instagram post that I did and then it just kind of gave me inspiration to try it again. So once I've got this all mixed up, I'm going to split off some into a bowl and work with the first layer. to not dirty up so many bowls, but I figure to try and get them looking as evenly as possible with each layer, I'm just gonna have to pour them into a bowl because I don't feel like doing math and pulling out a scale right now. So I'm trying to eye it up in between three bowls. It is what it is. So let me scrape out this container and we'll get started on that first layer. For the first layer, I am going to color it with a cocoa powder for a brown, and I'm going to add my oats in as well. These are just some rolled oats. I'm gonna give that a whisk. Oh, I'm gonna give that a buzz, actually. And then I'm gonna add my fragrance. Fragrance is called Banana Bunt Cake. This is by Crafter's Choice, and it's got notes of ripe banana, baked crust, whipped cream, orange and sheer spices, vanilla, caramel, and musk. It is a Bath and Body Works dupe. It does have Vaseline in it, so it will discolor to a brown. It says light acceleration, so I'm going to hand mix this in and get the pouring. While that's setting up, I'll mix up my next layer. Yes, it does accelerate, but I think I managed to get it mixed in and poured in in enough time. At first I was like, what are they talking about? This does not accelerate, but I mean, again, I'm working with additives like banana and goat milk, so that definitely is going to play into how much it accelerates. But I would say this is a fragrance I wouldn't try to get too fancy on. I am going to try and texture, <laughs> don't get too fancy, the layers in between, see what I can get, and then I'm 
I'm going to do a mica line with an activated charcoal. And I didn't re-watch the video of the last time I made this. I'm just kind of going off of the picture. And I can't remember if activated charcoal was what I used in it last time, but it just made sense to me when I was <laughs> designing this one again and when I looked at the picture. I think that's good. All right, so I've got a little tea strainer and I've got my activated charcoal, which <laughs> it makes a mess. And of course I ordered it from a place that I have not ordered activated charcoal before and didn't realize it comes in a baggie. This is what nature's garden sends it in. So if it wasn't messy already, it is about to get even more messier. I prefer it in a jar, but it's okay. We'll do our best here. I'm great at making messes regardless. All right, little layer of that. The other two layers, I'm going to do a sunshine yellow by Nurture. And again, that fragrance is going to discolor, but it is going to at least have a yellow tint to it. And then into this one, I'm going to do some titanium dioxide that's been dispersed in water. Knowing how fast this sets up, I have to get my embeds on here before they don't um, stick at all. So I've got some cinnamon sticks that I've cut in half to fit on here. This is totally different from the design I did last time. I did a little dollop with a little banana slice on there. Um, I decided cinnamon stick and a banana slice, which I've got here. These might even get cut, but they're all different sizes. Some are smaller than the other. They're very realistic looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick each one of these on here. Try and get them, you know what? Hold up. <laughs> I decided I'm gonna do them face up. I don't even have time to clean off the mold here. This is just nuts how fast this fragrance set up. And I'm not mad about it because I knew this time I was warned but I would totally use this fragrance again because I love the way it smells. It smells just like a fresh baked banana bread to me. Honest, honestly, it's hard to get banana to smell realistic. It always smells like fake, laffy taffy, artificial. I think banana is one of my favorite fruit scents now that I think about it. If I had to pick a fruit scent that I absolutely love banana would be it but it has to be realistic smelling i think i mean i like the i like the artificial smell as well but this smells just like real fresh baked bread with banana in it it's so good i might keep a bar of this for myself um the reason why i redid this soap was because i did one of those uh best of posts on Instagram that tells you what um, posts got the most likes and I was surprised that this one popped up as number one 
So I thought I would redo it, but of course I like to mix things up a little bit. So sort of an inspiration, sort of a recreation of an old soap that I don't really oh, even remember making. <laughs> but it got the most likes, so I had to do it again. And once I get these little banana slices on here, I am going to give this a little dust with some of that cocoa powder. It look like cinnamon, or might even look like a dusting of cocoa powder. I am really trying to push these in so they stay, but not make this look awful. I think putting a dollop on here with some soapy frosting that wasn't fragrance would have been better. But again, too late. So I'll do this soap again next year <laughs> and probably use the same fragrance, but improve it once again. Sprayed it with some rubbing alcohol so we don't get any soda ash, but you know, in this soap shed, it seems to be inevitable. Tiny little dusting of some cocoa powder. I'm trying to do this very, very lightly. I want it to look like cinnamon. I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and then I'll come back and cut it and show you guys what the inside looks like. And I really hope it smells just as yummy as it does out of the bottle, that fragrance. All right, I like it. Cutting into the soap, let me show you the inside and how it turned out. Love it. I love this soap. And you can still see it's changing colors from that vanillin fragrance, so it is going to darken up once it sits and everything starts to hit the air. You guys, I am obsessed with this fragrance. I can't say it enough. It is delicious smelling. It is so dreamy and just absolutely divine and realistic. And I just, I want to rave about it some more. Even though it's not the best behaving, I would use it again. In fact, I think I want to make candles with it. I want my house to smell like this. I set, uh, showed it to Bradley and he said it was the most delicious and best selling smelling soap that I have ever made. And it made him hungry and we both had to have banana waffles after <laughs> smelling it. It smells so good. So I did look up the video I did for this soap and it was in October of 2019. So it wasn't even last year and that's probably why I didn't remember making it because it wasn't last year. <laughs> I guess I had reposted a picture of it in 2020 and that's why it popped up as my best of. But I am so happy it did because I love this soap so much. I might even think about putting it into my like range of soaps that I restock very often. And I, I'm happy with this final design as well. I also saw in the other soap that I made that I used cocoa powder for the lines. And I think I had them, these colors rearranged with like the yellow on top. But I like the darker to lighter. If you would like to purchase this soap, it will be available on April 30th. That is the next shop update. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you're new around here, join me for more soap making adventures by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, want to chat, leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.